Hey my babies, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Raya J and I'm back with another video. And today's vid today's Friday. I just dropped the baby off to school and now I'm continuing. Every day I've been since the video I posted what last week. Um, I've been continuing to job seek, put in applications and put myself out there again. Um y'all know I haven't smoked, so I have like how many days into the 23rd or the 24th? like 11 or 12, 10 11 days right um left and i'll fully be clean 30 days it takes for weed to get out your system if you don't know now you know um but yeah i wanted to get on here this is gonna be like a continuation slash informative uh content video from yesterday right but yeah i told y'all everything that happened yesterday you know with my uh he was supposed to be a potential you know dating whatever but you know it didn't get that far but yeah, I'm going to continue where it was at. So basically, right, I just want to make my peace. If you see this, you know who you are, then you know that you left your umbrella and your charger piece at my house. I'm giving you until Monday to come get your shit at my house or it will be in the trash. All right. Now that I got that out the way, I want to continue on and give you all some content. And basically, right. I want to ask the world's population something. I want to know something. I want to know, are y'all really out here seeking to date females with big butts that are gorgeous, that are, that are, that are, you know, working, whatever, they on their grind in whatever way with, with the intentions to not know who exactly they are in their heart and their soul, with the intentions that <laughs> you know, you may be naive to the fact that, okay, y'all laying down with these women that really don't have your best interests at heart. You know why? Because when it comes down to it, these are these same women that go ahead and put y'all on child support, put y'all, um, you know, in order protections that, you know, keep y'all away from y'all kids. I mean, there's so many examples that I can give you all. Um, you know, women that are on a pole, women that are out there selling their bodies, you know, women who just don't give a damn, women who don't have no morals, no values, uh, and therefore they don't respect you, therefore they don't respect their self, right? I'm just keeping it on a, on the fine lines. If you if you following this, this content video, keep it on, don't turn it off, continue to watch it, right? There's some people, right? There's some people that will sit here and judge me you know they'll say oh my gosh you know i like how you i like i like you know the way you carry yourself you're so classy you're so beautiful you're so gorgeous you know i, I see that you're very ambitious you know they'll go down a whole list right and then i'll make myself vulnerable um as far as you know hey this happened to me you know so you know as far as dealing with me we have to take of course healthy precautions but these are not um abnormal um precautions that you wouldn't have to take with anybody else you know because with anyone you should uh, use a condom. I'm, I'm just a very uh, courageous and brave woman to go ahead and put my business on my platform and, and, and just out myself, you know, because when it comes down to my career, I don't need a soul to be trying to, trying to uh, manipulate me and, 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 you know, blacklist me and expose me. And it's like, expose me for what? You know, all, all, all the facts and all the, all, all the drama and all the, uh, negativity in my own bullshit, whatever you want to call it, I have already outed myself. So what can you possibly out me when I do become the biggest star, a legend, you know, who, 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 who you know, as far as who I'm going to be, as far as who I'm preparing myself to be. And with that being said, right, I hate when people stare at me when I'm vlogging, for real. Like, and I know it's going to get worse once I get my camera, but anywho. And I know y'all see I got my eyebrows done. I did put, you know, I did fill them in, you know. But basically, I got them waxed. I got my lip wax, you know, and I'm feeling really great. But anyways, right, I also wanted to get on here and go even deeper, you know. <laughs> Let's talk about the boomerang. Y'all know, whatever you throw out in the world, it will boomerang back to you. And even if it doesn't boomerang back to you, it will boomerang to someone in your circle, in your life, your family, your in-laws, your kids. You know, let, let's keep it going. Y'all know how this world goes. Y'all know how good of a God uh, 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 my God is. And I will hope you feel your God is, you know? And he would never fail me. He would never fail me in nothing, you know? All things that I truly felt that I wanted in my life, you know? Truly things that I felt that I needed in my life. 
when it came down to it and Allah blocked that, it's because he has my best interest in his heart and his hands. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and he would never fail me, inshallah. So I have to be grateful uh, to the people who have rejected me. I have to be grateful for the people who try to play me, who try to knock me down, because that only pushes me to continue to push and go stronger and go harder and, 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 and continue to be who I'm gonna be on this life. I actually love rejection. You know, I need y'all to know that because <laughs> what, what does rejection mean? Rejection actually doesn't mean shit. It, it just means that, hey, this is not for you. Plain and simple. And don't force, scream, cry, shout about it. Now I want to continue to go further on. I want to continue further on and talk about the human po population, right? Do you know that the human population um, is mostly sick? And you'll sit here and you'll say, explain that, Raya J. So here I am. I'm going to explain it for you all. Don't click out the video. Continue to watch me. I'm a genius. I know what I'm talking about. I'm going very far. Okay? Continue to align yourself in the stars of your life. And, and, and if I'm inspiration to you, continue to watch me and support me. Because when I tell you, inshallah, I am already a legend. Okay? I am just still, of course, in preparation as many people are. You in preparation, you will not see your big blessing and see your, 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 greatest, uh, your greatest outcome, the greatest, your, your, your life turn into the greatest masterpiece you've ever seen before because you're not doing the steps to prepare yourself so Allah can bless you. But see me, I'm doing the steps every day from the time, from the day that I, I got beat up by my ex-boyfriend Ray, from the time that I've started my channel, from the time that I've aligned myself in the stars of my life to continue to push myself in my, in my career and push myself in my personal growth and push myself as a mother and push myself as someone's wife. You know what I'm saying? One day, like, oh man. You, you have to be in preparation for Allah to see that you're, 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 you're pushing and you're trying and you're working hard and you're staying focused and, 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 and you know that your greatest outcome is yet to come. You see, people are afraid of failure. Nobody wants to fail. Nobody. Nobody wants to fail. Nobody wants to do the hard work. Everybody wants to try and if you fail, it's like, oh, fuck, you know? Maybe this is not it. Maybe this is not for me. But I want you to know that whatever you believe in your heart and whatever you believe in your soul, whatever keeps you up at night, um, those are your greatest passions, you know. And some and all people, you know, we don't have we don't we all don't have the same dreams and goals. You know, some people are not trying to be as big as me. Some people enjoy working at nine to five, living in their little uh, a condo apartment, driving their little Honda, taking care of their kids. Women, some women enjoy being stay at home moms. You know, whatever floats your boat is basically what's for you, you know. Um, but let's continue on to go. Where I was at, I was at talking about the, the human population. Most of the human population in the world are sick. And y'all look at me and go ahead, don't look at me like I'm stupid. You know, look at me like I'm a fucking genius because that's what I am. Um, okay, explain yourself, Raya J. Well, how is the, how is the, how is most of the world's population sick? And I don't just mean STDs. I'm, of course, I'm in that category. I'm in that category of you know the sick you know because i i'm living with stds that you know they, they are in my blood and they are in my body and you know i pray every day for allah to heal me and you know for for for, to, for me to uh for my body to just be erased from these sicking diseases that you know people who didn't have my my my, my beneficiary my best beneficiary in their in their in their, in their hands and and, and 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 you know the greatest thing for me for them what would be tell me the truth and give me an option whether to deal with you people didn't do that see but i know what my role in this is my role is as i continue to date i have to give people the option i have to give people the option i can't um and i'm gonna even go deeper into this i i can't have somebody's destiny in my hand that's not i'm not god you know i'm raya J. am a servant of allah you know, I'm a messenger of Allah. You know, I am not holier than thou, you know, but I am a woman that prays, work hard, I'm focused. You know, I, I, I'm a woman that has uh, goals and ambitions. I'm a great mother. You know, there's so many things about me and, you know, just, I don't want to keep it on the fine lines. The fine lines is not, oh, I want to be the YouTube, uh, the biggest YouTuber, blah, blah, blah. Y'all don't know what's in my, in my, in my, in my life's plan. Y'all don't know what's in Allah's plan for me. Okay. And, and, and. But I know the relationship that I have with Allah. 
And, and I know if I continue to stay focused and continue to do what I have to do and continue to wash myself in his blood and his spirit and his life and continue to read my scriptures and continue to pray that <laughs> my life will slowly, as it already has begun, un un unravel like a fucking flower blooming, a, a blooming, a blossoming flower. And, 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 and I will start to receive my blessings that have always been mine. They have always been uh, in, in my reach of grab they have they will be mine because what's for you will always be for you you know now are you showing your god that you deserve these are you showing your god that you're focused but anyway right i'm getting a little bit off topic oh yeah and i want y'all to know y'all probably want to know raya so besides the situation with ray have you ever you know um you know as y'all say burnt somebody you was dating and that, and in all actuality right I'm not gonna say who and stuff like that because I can't out people's business, you know, although it was a part of my life. But I'll tell you this, I've had four serious relationships in my life. And y'all know the situation with Ray. So Ray is excluded from this, but he wasn't actually a serious relationship. So I'm talking about the three serious relationships that I had in my life. I've told all of them. All of them knew about All of them knew about my situation and I was very open and honest with them and they continue to see me for who I am. They continue to love me as Allah loves me. They never judge me. And, and, and I'll tell you this, if any of my exes uh, um, contracted you know, any of my diseases that I have from dealing with me, I'm gonna tell you how they got it. They got it because once I tell you what I deal with and you love me so much, and you feel like, damn, I love this girl so much. Just this woman, I'm gonna make this woman my wife. And at that point, you feel like you wanna fuck me without a condom. That, and at that point, you made that decision over your life. And at that point, what's gonna happen is between you and your God. I can't make somebody uh, fuck me raw. That's your decision once I've told you what I deal with. So know that if you date me, that Yes, my business is on my platform. You know what I have. But if we ever was the fuck raw and you got contracted with herpes or HPV, just know that that was the decision you made. And, and, and just know you took a risk on yourself. You know what I'm saying? And it's not a bad thing. Some pe people have really loved me um, so much that, that they have made that decision. And when it came down to it, they did get burned. You know, but I'll tell you two out of my three exes, um, did decide at a point in our relationship to take the condom off and fuck me raw and at some point maybe they were diagnosed with one of the diseases I, you know that's between them and their god that has no control over me i just want y'all to know that <laughs> there's so many people out here before i make my point there's so many people out here living with stds i'm just a chick that's gonna keep it honest with you most bitches is not going to keep it honest. They're going to tell you, oh, put a condom on and y'all going to fuck. And, 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 and all condoms ain't going to protect you from all diseases either. So you go ahead and keep sleeping with people and trusting what they say. And, you know, believe it because people are not as brave and courageous as me. People are not Raya J. They are not going to keep it true with you. I'm letting y'all know that. I'm here to continue to break the stigma of stop living in secrecy stop stop living in shame and 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 feeling embarrassed because what happened to you no use your pain and turn it into power use yourself and be honest you know continue to walk in the alignment of stars that allah has for you okay if you put your life in someone else's hands i want you to know that ultimately that's your fault but i want to let y'all know how is the world so sick well let's think about it besides stds you know herpes hiv um hpv chlamydia syphilis all this gonorrhea besides all of that let's talk about the mental illnesses women are sick sometimes after they give birth that's called postpartum depression depression is a disease Drug addiction is a disease. Alcoholism is a disease. Uh, uh, PTSD is a disease. Let's continue to talk. Come on. Anxiety. Let's continue to talk. Uh, uh, um, ADHD. ADD. Come on, y'all. Stop living lies. Live the truth. Live in your truth. Okay? 
it, the way Allah made you and the way your life has turned out, it's not all Allah's fault. You've made decisions and therefore you're you're dealing with the effects of the decisions that you made. I just want you all to continue to watch me and love me and support me. It's your girl Raya J dropping gems again. Have a good day.